Hey peeps, I'm back with another £25 haul helping you to put on parties on a budget. This week I went to Sainsbury's and I got myself some whiskey. Now I'm not really a huge whiskey fan, but I do like some simple serves, so this video should be quite interesting. Now if you're new to these videos, the whole point of this series is helping you put on parties and impressing your friends and family on a budget. £25 to be exact. And that should be enough money to keep a small group happy. Now it's nice to see you all diving into the comments, but remember I want to hear from lots of you, so in the comments below let me know what your local supermarket is. Where would you go for a £25 haul? And what is that one bottle of booze, the spirits, liqueurs? What is that one bottle that you would pick up? Let me know in the comments below and then in the future I might go and grab that and see what damage I can do. So this week's haul, what did I spend? I spent £24.60 in total. What I managed to pick up, I managed to pick up this Scotch whiskey, absolute bargain for £12. Uh, I then got lots of random odds and sods to go with it. So down the fruit aisle we picked up some lemon. I've got two nets of lemons. I've got some fresh mint. I couldn't get little bags of mint, so I had to get little mint, mint plants. So you could have gone cheaper there. Uh, I've got some bramble jelly. Bramble is blackberries. Obviously, in blackberry, what you might not know, blackberry and whiskey goes very well together. The kind of dark, softer red fruits go really well. Uh, hence the schler there as well. It's the red grape schler. I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a second. Uh, I've got some, I couldn't get any soda water, which was a bit bizarre. So I've got lemon and lime sparkling water, which will do uh, the same thing. We've got some fresh uh, orange juice, squeezed orange juice, complete with bits because we love our bits. You've got to have juice with bits in it. Uh, and then I've got some sugar, some honey, and some, I think this is Moroccan. Is it called Moroccan Almond Extract? And I'm going to be doing three different sugar syrups for you. Obviously, we're going to be doing normal sugar syrup, syrup which I showed you last week. Uh, I'm going to be doing a fake sort of orgeat syrup, and then I'm going to be doing a honey syrup for you. Well, then, so first things first, let's make the sugar syrups. Uh, and I'm just going to do very quickly, uh, skim through this, what exactly what I did last week. So in the uh, in that mixing glass there, I've just got some honey. Uh, so I'm going to make some honey syrup. Uh, and this one, I'm just going to make a base uh, sugar syrup. So I do the sugar syrup. I always do two parts sugar uh, to one part water. Uh, if you're doing that at home. I'll be honest, I do buy sugar syrups a lot of the time, but that defeats the object of this video, doesn't it? You kind of want to make stuff yourself. So I've just got some piping hot kettle water and the jig is going to get really hot here, so I'll try and do this quickly. Uh, so I'm just going to say, so do two, a two to one ratio of boiling hot water. And then I'm going to do exactly the same for the honey. I'm going to go two parts honey to one part boiling hot water. Now the reason we make a honey syrup is it's just so much easier to use in cocktails. We kind of do, you can do one to one honey to water if you want, but two to one you still retain all those honey flavours, but it just makes it so much, what's the word, soluble I guess you'd say in cocktails. So we've got a lovely honey syrup there. I'm just going to do the sugar syrup now. Now you could do this in a pan on, on a stove on the hob if you want to, but it's, it's just easy, as long as you've got piping hot water. Honestly, just give it a good stir. After two or three minutes, the sugar will have dissolved. Now that'll go clear uh, through the video. That'll just take a few minutes to dissolve in. I'm just gonna pour a bit of sugar syrup in there. And then to make the fake sort of orgeat. Now orgeat syrup has got a little hints, tiny little hints of orange flower water, sometimes some rose, uh, but then kind of hints of almond and vanilla in there. This is just gonna be a fake one, to be honest. It's just gonna be almond, but it'll do the job. So people always ask me how much uh, essence extract should you use? It's up to you, it's just the taste. I'm actually just gonna do, uh, and I've not done this before, I'm gonna do two capfuls. Then I'm gonna add a bit of sugar syrup just to there. Give that a quick little stir around. Have a little taste and that is absolutely perfect. So you can see how much sugar syrup I've used there. I've probably got, I think these are 125 mils, so close to about 75 mils sugar syrup to two capfuls of almond extract. And you can make vanilla, uh, all those different flavored sugar syrups, all the different extracts you get from your supermarket. That's how you do flavored sugar syrup. So I'm just gonna quickly top these up so I've got a little bit more and I'll add a little bit more extract to that. Uh, and then we'll get into the video. So for cocktail one, I'm gonna give you double the value for money. I'm gonna give you two simple serves at the same time. No need to shake these, these get made straight in the glass. The first one we're gonna do is a Whiskey Collins, very, very easy. The second one we're gonna do, really random for you, but I promise you it works so well, we're gonna do whiskey with Schler. So first ingredient for both of these, we're going for our whiskey, our scotch. Um, and I'm just gonna do a double bubble in each of these. So 50 mil, double bubble. 
Now for the Collins, which I'm gonna make in that one, I'm gonna do the juice of a whole lemon in there, so that's half, and this is the second half. And remember what I always say, it's the citrus and the sugar that really elevate the flavors of the base alcohol. So I've got the juice of a whole lemon, I'm going for some sugar syrup in that one. That will, the lemon will be about 25 mil, give or take. Uh, so you want about 15 mil, 12 and a half, 15 mil, half a shot of sugar syrup. Now, of course, the Collins is just a long way because we're going to use the lemon lime soda, um, which is, is sparkling water, which is, hasn't got the sweetness of a Sprite, for instance. You might just think scotch and Sprite or whiskey and lemonade will do the job. It's, as I say, it's something about the fresh lemon juice and the sugar that really elevates flavours. It won't give you the same taste. Uh, so I'm just going to simply ice both of these up. Now I'm gonna to top our Collins up with this lemon lime sparkling water. And, and you could batch up the lemon juice and the sugar all together if you want to. So you could just pour that without having to do that every time someone wants this drink. So we're just gonna to top up and this will be probably about 100 ml. And then we're gonna do the same with the red grape schlur. And I promise you, this might sound completely nuts, but it's a really good spirit mixer. For some reason, I don't kind of like it so much with uh, American whiskey, bourbon, but for Scotch whiskey, it really does work well. Now, I'm just gonna give both of these uh, a quick little stir. I put about the same amount of schlur in, about 75, 100 ml of schlur. So quick, good stir. And then if you're at home and you've got other bits around, uh, garnish them up, you know, grapes, bit of red fruit, sprig of mint, um, but obviously I've just got the lemon husks. Where have we got? What are the name for the empty lemon shells? Uh, so I'm just gonna use them to garnish. The red grape schlur is delicious. You don't lose the whiskey notes. The whiskey comes up there, but they're just that kind of red fruits with that. The grape really does work well. That's a really interesting highball, really like that. And of course the Collins, I'm, you know, whiskey Collins for me, it's better than gin. Gin would be the normal kind of Collins, but whiskey Collins there, the lemon, the sugar, the sparkling kind of water or the lemon lime water with this. It's just a really, it's a lovely sort of summer sipper. And that's probably being a bit harsh. You could drink these all year round. Now for cocktail number two, I'm gonna show you how to make a dramble. Yes, you heard me right. Not a bramble, but a dramble. This is obviously the whiskey version of the bramble, the famous gin cocktail. The dram, obviously whiskey, drams, that's where it's come from. Very, very simple. Uh, obviously a, a riff, a flip because of the ingredients. So we're gonna use the whiskey, we're gonna use um, the seedless, the jam, the bramble jam, uh, and the lemon juice. You won't need any sugar for this. Actually, I'll rephrase, you shouldn't need any sugar this. But as I said uh, previously when I did this, all jams are different. We don't know how sweet a jam is until we try but I've got a hunch that you're not gonna need any sugar for this. So, little trick, if you've not seen how we use jams before, but all jams will work. This one's quite a solid one. So, what we do, we take a nice dollop of jam. We then add the juice of um, probably a whole lemon. Squeeze that in. So there's the second half. Remember what I say, it's the citrus and the sweetness that really elevate flavors. But feel free to dial that back and just use half of the, um, half a lemon if you really want to. Now what we do is we stir that jam. As I say, this one's quite solid. It's not as juicy as the raspberry one that I got last week from Aldi. So we're just gonna stir this down. The citrus will break the jam down and we'll turn it into a nice kind of blackberry bramble puree. Now I'm gonna have a little change of tack here. I was gonna make this straight in the glass, but the jam is quite solid. So instead, I'm actually gonna uh, shake this cocktail down and that'll really break up the, um, the jam even more. Normally we don't need to, but that's a really solid jam. I have had a quick taste though, and no, I don't need any sugar. It has got the sweetness that I need with that lemon, so we're gonna be fine. So we're gonna do a double bubble of uh, whiskey. Gonna add plenty of ice to the cocktail shaker. And then we're just gonna do a hard and fast shake for 10 to 12 seconds. Now that is properly shaken down. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna single strain this because I wanted to still create the whole bramble effect. You can see that it's the jam's broken down. And then all brambles get served up with crushed ice. So we're just gonna completely fill with crushed. Amazing, I love it. Big, juicy kind of dark berry notes, blackberry notes come through there. They go exceptionally well with the whiskey. You've got a whole depth of flavor that a bramble doesn't give you with gin, uh, but you get it with the whiskey there. I really like it. I honestly, a whole lemon, I think that is spot on. I don't think you need any sugar. I think that balances out well, but just try it for yourself. So if you want a little bit of sugar, that's fine, add some. So for cocktail number three, 
or number four, I'm going to do a flip on the Heather Julep uh, for you. I just realised they weren't in shot, so I brought them in shot for the camera angle. Um, now, the Heather Julep originally is kind of drambuie, but it get, the drambuie is obviously a honey liqueur, a honey whiskey liqueur. It's got, well, it's elements of little honey in it. So instead, this is where the honey sugar syrup is coming in. So, very, very simply, we're going to use the mint, we're going to use the whiskey, and we're going to use some honey. So first ingredient, I've picked off uh, eight... Uh, well, it was about 10 actually, 10 decent sized mint leaves in there. There's a couple of tiny ones in there, hence 10, but eight to 10 decent sized mint leaves. Palm your hand, give them a spank, that'll awake the aromas, and then just drop them in your glass. For your next ingredient, this is where the honey syrup's gonna come out to play. So I'm just gonna do 25 ml of honey syrup. And then for the third ingredient, we're gonna go for the whiskey. So we're gonna do a, a double bubble of whiskey. And this will work. This will work really well with Scott with uh, bourbon as well. To be fair, but we've got Scotch whiskey. And that's all juleps essentially are. They're three ingredients: normally whiskey, sugar, uh, sugar, and lime. But obviously the heather, we've got the honey. So we go crushed ice for this. It's about two thirds full. Now I'm just going to stick a spoon in, and we're going to give it a churn to combine those mint flavours through the cocktail. And because we're using a honey syrup and not just normal thick honey. That combines really, really easily. Just once that's done, uh, top out with even more crushed ice. Remember, the more ice, the better, simply because the drink will stay colder for longer and it won't dilute as much. You will get a little bit of dilution, which you want from the crushed ice, but you're gonna get a frozen cocktail, essentially. And then we're just gonna garnish it up with a couple of sprigs of mint. And that's a Heather Julie. Taste-wise, that is amazing. You could, if you wanted to, add some Angostura bitters to that. Bear in mind, it's not in our budget, so we haven't got Angostura bitters, but I would, at home, I've always got a bottle of Angostura bitters, so I'd add a dash, a couple of dashes. But the honey, the mint, the whiskey just com combines beautifully in that. As I say, that is a standard bourbon drink, kind of a julep, but the scotch works really well with the honey. Right, and the fourth and final cocktail, I'm gonna do a riff on the London Sour. Very simple, four ingredient cocktail. We're gonna shake it down. We're going whiskey, we're going for the almond syrup now, the orgeat that we made up earlier. Uh, we're going for orange juice and we're going for uh, half a lemon. So I said really, really easy. You could even add, I think the original recipe has got an egg white in it, the kind of sour to sort of froth it up. Uh, you could use that or foamers, but we're not, we haven't got the budget, so we haven't done it. So uh, the juice of half a lemon, then get in some of the almond syrup, which is lovely color, beautiful color there. We're going 15 ml, half an ounce of almond syrup. We're then going for a 50 ml double bubble of our Scotch whiskey. Perfect. And then we are gonna match that with orange juice. As I say, I love orange juice with bits. I think that works. This is just, it's 100% squeezed. It's not concentrate stuff. It's proper, proper orange juice. That's why I bought it in the carton. Don't, don't get the, con if you're gonna get the concentrate stuff, just get fresh oranges. It's just the easiest way. This was actually cheaper than getting a net of orange juices, or oranges, so that's why I did it. Uh, so we're going 50 ml, a uh, double bubble of orange, complete with bits. Then just ice your shaker up, plenty of ice, and then give it a good hard fire shake, 10 to 12 seconds. And when that is proper ice cold, so you can't hold it any longer, uh, I've got a highball glass there. Feel free to do fresh ice if you wanted to. We know what you're gonna do at home for a party. We're gonna do a shake and dump, aren't you? So just throw that all into the glass, dirty dump. And then as I've got the mint tree, it just makes perfect garnish, doesn't it? So there we go. Whiskey and orange is a big favorite for a lot of people as well. But you add in the almond notes as well. The lemon juice just elevates the whole flavors. The subtle hint of almond coming up the back, that's really tasty. It's traditionally a shorter drink, but that is a long drink. Do you know what? Even some of you would add sort of lemonade Sprite to that to turn it into a real kind of long drink. But that is, that's delicious. So there we go, gang, five delicious whiskey, simple serves and cocktails. In the comments below, let me know uh, which one's your favorite, which takes your fancy the most. They are all delicious, I wanna know. Uh, and if you wanna see another 25 pound haul with a different spirit, right there.